The people who stand with me on this stage, I regard as giants. Thomas Mayo. Thomas, Thomas Mayo. Mayo. Written a handbook called the Voice to Parliament Handbook. All the detail you need. Thomas Mayo is a signatory to the Uluru Statement from the Heart, but was also entrusted with the physical document. Mayo is part of the referendum working group. He spent 18 months travelling around Australia to garner support for an Indigenous voice to Parliament. And I'll tell you what, we are sick of governments not listening to our voice. We are going to use the rule book of the nation to force them. There is nothing more powerful than building a First Nations voice, a black institution, a black political force to be reckoned with. Keep going until we change the system, until we tear down the institutions that harm our people. And also to pay respects to the elders of the Communist Party, who I think, uh, without a doubt, have played a very important role in our activism. You know, this is the first step. It's a vital step. Pay the rent, for example. You know, how, how do we do that in a way that is transparent and that it actually sees reparations and compensation to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. The power in the voice is that it creates the ability for First Nations to go forth with um, coherent um, positions on what legislation needs to be created, what legislation needs to be amended and punish politicians that ignore our advice. This is a modest request. Authorised by Matthew Sheehan, Advance Australia, Canberra.